you guys. I'm here at the Comic Con. The phone's behind me. And we've got Ben there chit chatting with some random people. There's a lot of things going on. I'm gonna show you guys what you can see shortly. That's already Ben Blah. <laughs> Cut! <laughs> Start again. Uh, Glenn just beat me. Soundly. Balls. <laughs> anyway, what did I do wrong? Uh, Everything. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> With friends like this, you don't need enemies. Yeah. But the, the main part is the, the Bolton. Uh, your your fate man got tied down with the Dungeons yeah. Dragons objective. Yeah, that was unfortunate. Yeah. So he had 10 points sitting there. Yeah, doing nothing. Yeah. Ah, well. That sums up my stupidity. <laughs> hey boys and girls, I thought I'd just do a summary of the Simon, sorry, of um, Singapore Comic Con. There were two events that I actually attended. Um, the first was the Invitationals. Um, in Invitational, the series that was run by Gamers Ross Rex together with um, Simon, that was really quite well run. Um, in order to qualify for the finals, which we played um, over in the video you just saw earlier, um, you have to go through a series of tournaments. There are eight tournaments in total. Each tournament that you attend, um, one individual would then qualify to enter um, the Invitationals, which happened um, two weeks ago. So what happens here is that um, I technically didn't qualify until the finals. So after a after six tournaments, I still didn't manage to get in. So what they would do is that they have already selected the first six, and these first six individuals got in. So there were two more slots left behind. Um, Glenn got one of them, and I got the other. And the reason for why we were selected was because we just it was just calculated through the number of wins so basically just play as many games as possible win as many and then those with the biggest number of wins are then invited to the final eight um, so it was eight of us who competed uh, while i didn't come in or place a top four in order to, to get the targaryen set i did manage to win the baratheon set um, so it's kind of funny because in simon thailand i won the baratheon set swapped it for the targaryen box <laughs> And then I was like, woohoo! And then come Singapore, I was thinking, okay, look, I'll just give it a shot, maybe get the Tiger set and I don't know, palm it off to Duffin because he's been wanting it. And then failed to win um, top four, but still managed to get another breath in set. So now I have basically one breath in, one Tiger <laughs> and the whole thing. Um, that was on Saturday, and then on Sunday, we actually had the. Um, uh, Game of Thrones Open or Song of Ice and Fire Open. Um, impressive, we had 20 players come um, participate. Um, was it? Yeah, 20 or 18, 16, somewhere there. It was a large turnout. Um, we had some guys coming in over from Indonesia. Um, they constantly come down here, and I do hope along the line that we can do something like a circuit between Singapore, Indonesia, as well as Thailand, because the three countries now seem to have it. Uh, going together. Um, then the next one is of course we're hoping to push um, in Malaysia as well um, and I like to see that place, uh, sorry the game grow uh, in my home country. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed it. I mean it was a blast. Uh, I For the Open, I came in top 8. Um, I, I did number 7 or number 8, I just barely made it through. Um, in the Invitational series, sorry I keep jumping in there, in the, Saturday event on the Invitational series. Our new king is Glenn. Um, congratulations. 
you probably remember Glenn is one of the two, including me, so Glenn and myself. We were not one of those original six that qualified for it, and he came in top what he, he came in number one, so he's the new king of the north. Um, so really pumped for him, really happy. He's put in so many hours and he's done really well, and he brought glory to Hall of Starks. Um, outside of that, on Sunday, um, again I came in top eight. I, I won two prizes actually, uh, Nightwatch, Stone Thrower, and also a unit of Blackguard. <coughs> so more of Blackguard, huh? <laughs> um, but look guys, if you're in the region, uh, you really want to come down, check out uh, the Singapore Comic Con. And if you play Ice and Fire, come on in, give it a shot. I bet you'll have a good time. Till then, see ya.